Welcome to the Geo2 operation tutorial. To view the features and enter the menu of a Geo2, you can tap the mode or advance button. The menu is cyclical and you can advance up or down the menu depending on button press. By tapping the advance button, you'll see your last dive if you've done a dive in the last 24 hours. You'll see temperature. Your time to fly and saturation time will also be displayed. The time to fly is a 24-hour countdown clock from the time you exit the water, and saturation is how much nitrogen you have left in your system at sea level. You can plan a dive by hitting the select button and choosing your desired depth. You do not need to plan a dive prior to getting into the water. Logbook can also be accessed by selecting the select button to view your last 24 dives. Set F stands for the fraction of oxygen. If you're diving air, you do not need to enter this menu. But to set nitrox setting, you'll enter the menu by hitting the select button. The icon on the bottom will show that you're in gas one, and you can change the nitrox setting from air to whatever nitrox setting you analyze your tank at. To confirm the gas, press the select button, and you can see that the icon on the bottom moved to gas two. This would be for an additional cylinder on your dive, not for dive number two. You can set the default 50% screen from the, this menu. When turned off, the computer will stay at whatever nitrox setting that's currently set at for 24 hours from the time you get out of the water, or two hours if you do not dive. You can turn the 50% default on by using the advance or the mode button. The 50% default on will have the computer default to 50% nitrox 10 minutes after you, you exit the water. This is to get the diver accustomed to going in and confirming that the dive computer is set to the proper nitrox setting prior to each dive. By turning it off, the computer will stay at whatever nitrox setting you have until the computer shuts down, either two hours after activation if you do not dive, or 24 hours from the time you exit the water. The next menu setting is set A for alarms. To enter the menu, tap the select button. The master audible alarm can be turned on or off by hitting the advance button. Your depth alarm can also be changed. A elapsed dive time alarm can be changed as well. If you want a reminder when you've been underwater for say 20 minutes, you can set up an elapsed dive time alarm for 20 minutes. The tissue loading bar graph can be modified by pressing the advance button or turned off completely. A dive time remaining alarm can be set. Or turned off. If you're diving nitrox, the partial pressure of oxygen can also be set. It can be set from a 1.2 up to a 1.6. The set U stands for utilities. The set utilities menu includes water activation, changing the unit from metric to imperial, a deep stop alarm, which can be turned on or off. A deep stop will have you stop at 50% of your maximum depth for three minutes. You must exceed 80 feet for this alarm to be triggered. You will not be penalized if you do not stop at the required stop. Safety stop can also be turned on. You can set it up as a timer as opposed to a three minute countdown timer. It will count up. 
you can turn it off. If it's turned on, you can turn change the settings from three minutes to five minutes. And you can change the stop depth from 20 feet to 10 feet to 15 feet. You can change the algorithm from the DSTAT to the Z+. DSTAT is based off of a modified Haldanian. Z plus is based off of a Buhlmann. You can set up a conservative factor. If you turn this on, the computer will use the next altitude's calculations, making it more conservative. The glow determines the duration of the backlight, which is at five seconds, 10 seconds, or off. Sample rate is for download use, has no effect on the calculations of the computer. For sample rate, 15 seconds will give you roughly 10, hour, 10 hours of downloadable memory. The select sample rate, or SR, determines the amount of data that can be stored within the computer for download purposes. It does not affect the calculations of the computer. On two second sample rate, the computer will download roughly 160 minutes before overwriting the data. On a 15 second sample rate, you'll be able to store roughly 10 hours of downloadable memory, 20 hours when you change it to a 30 second sample rate, or 40 hours when you set it to a 60 second sample rate. The set in menu is for mode. You have the ability to change it from normal dive mode to gauge mode. Gauge mode will turn the computer into a digital depth gauge. If the unit is placed in a gauge mode and you do a dive, once you exceed eight feet, the computer will switch into gauge mode and you will no longer be able to enter normal mode for a period of 24 hours. You can also change it to free dive mode. Normal operation is probably what you want to be in. To connect the interface cable to the GO2, ensure the GO2 is in watch mode and clip the cable off to the side of the unit. The computer will switch over to countdown timer mode and you'll have two minutes to initiate download.